When I look down at the condition of my church, I am grieved at the condition of it. Many are limping, broken, confused, with no clear direction. Both the shepherd and the flock are not being led of my spirit, and so many of my children are being led astray without their knowledge. Sin has gripped my church and are full of flesh, walking with no fear of their God. Those that I have given the responsibility of leading my flock have allowed the devil in, and so he is sitting at the altars of many churches. An abomination that causes desolation, yet many cannot perceive it to flee from these churches. My fivefold ministry is working in their own leading and thinking. They no longer seek me to know my will for the flock I have given them. They have instituted man-made programs I did not ask them to institute. Neither did they seek me to know my will. Many, actually most churches, do not have the fivefold ministry at work in their churches. So the pastors are everything. They stand in all offices which I have not called them to. Many have no direction because they do not have the prophets to show them where I am leading them to. They have no apostles to position my people in their gifts and positions. They have no teachers to teach my word with revelations. Neither do they have evangelists to preach the gospel to the lost. So what do you expect? This is why the church is asleep. They have no idea what season I am in and what is about to befall this world. They have no ear to hear my spirit and what he is saying at this moment. When these shepherds come before me in prayer, they don't come to seek me. Rather, they come to bring the ministry needs and petitions to me. They ask for money for this and that. They ask me to send them good leaders and money to expand the seating capacity of their churches. They ask for everything else but my will and desire for them. They don't ask for my direction. Do they know the meaning of the secret place? When you come here, you are coming to my dwelling place to seek me in worship, praise, thanksgiving, to cry out to me in repentance. I do not even need to hear their problems. I already know them, but I am looking for a heart that desires me above everything else, above their ministry issues and petitions. When they seek me this way, I will show them my will. I will show them where they went wrong. I can even tell them to close the church so that I can send them into the wilderness once again. Without me at the center, before and above your ministry, you will not go far with me. Everything you will do will be apart from me, and in your flesh it will all be in vain. My churches are without my spirit. I left a long time ago. They are operating in their own power and might, and not by my spirit. I can count the few churches today in your world that are being led of my spirit. So if they come to the secret place for their own issues and not to seek me, they will never know my plans, my times and seasons. And so many are just wandering around the wilderness with no direction. If they sought me for me, I would reveal my plans to them. I would tell them how they need to position my flock. I would call for repentance and release to them the spirit of repentance. My judgments begin with my house, and because of this, they will fall under the weight of my judgments. This is how they will go into a state of apostasy. Many will lose their faith and fall away. And I will hold the shepherd responsible for this. Their blood will be in their hands. All my warnings to them have fallen on their fears. 
So now I will pour out my judgments, and it begins with my house. When I find faith in my house, have they built on rock or on shaky ground? Is there strife, jealousy, and envy in my church? Has fornication and adultery crept into the churches? My judgments will find that many churches have conformed to the world systems and beliefs, and their judgments will be much harsher than that of the world, because they have known my truths, but have lived in willful sin. They have trampled my son underfoot, and treated his blood as unholy, and have grieved my Holy Spirit beyond measure. Now they stand condemned before me. In the seven churches in the book of Revelation, all stood condemned except the church of Philadelphia. So it is even today, only a few will be kept away from my judgments, for they have been found worthy in my sight. They are my overcomers, and I will rescue them from their apostate churches. I have a few that have overcome even in these churches, and I know how to protect the godly, even in the midst of evil. My church will do well to go back to these seven churches and see the things I did not condone and accuse them of. These churches represent the churches of today. If the sins they committed resonate in your churches, fall down on your knees and cry out for my mercy. The hour is late and there is no more time. Humble yourselves before me and cry out to me and I will hear from heaven and forgive your sins and heal your hearts to stand before me without spot, wrinkle or blemish.